Hello, and welcome to Object-Oriented Python. My name is David Blakey, and I'll be your instructor for this course. This course is an introduction to object-oriented programming and how it's implemented in Python. Object-oriented programming is one of the most influential and widely used paradigms in computer science, and that's because it's so powerful. In this course, we'll learn how to create classes, which are blueprints for objects, and instances, which are the objects themselves. We'll take a thorough look at class and object behaviors and features, and along the way we'll learn a whole new set of terms for describing our code and its behavior. We'll also learn how to store our objects, which we call serialization. And towards the end, we'll learn techniques and use tools to help debug, test, and benchmark our code with an eye toward efficiency and reliability. If you're familiar with Python, but not familiar with object-oriented programming, you'll want to take this course. In fact, the concepts we'll learn in this course are applicable across languages. So even if you're not always coding in Python, you can apply the knowledge you'll gain in this course to C++, Java, Ruby, PHP, and myriad other languages. If you already are familiar with object-oriented programming concepts, you'll learn how Python implements this paradigm. In fact, you may have already noticed that most external libraries available in Python, or in any language for that matter, are object-oriented. That's because the paradigm is dominant in the field. Most programs that you use, including your operating system, any office-like productivity packages like Word and PowerPoint, the viewer you're using to watch this video, the tools I use to create it, all are software built using the object-oriented paradigm. Of course, Python itself is natively object-oriented, and we'll discuss that as well. So by learning these concepts and how Python implements them, you'll be taking a necessary next step in your computer science education and gain essential insights into how Python works. In short, if you don't have this knowledge yet, you need this course. Here's a little about me. I've been an adjunct professor at New York University's School of Professional Studies since 1999, and I've been teaching Python at NYU since 2006. I spent three years at Google and DoubleClick as a release engineer, I spent two years at AppNexus, which as of this recording is a pre-IPO web startup specializing in ad marketplaces, as a Python instructor and also as a coder. Most importantly, I am extremely passionate about teaching, particularly to beginners. So I encourage you to send me your questions, thoughts, and your war stories as you continue your education and employment using Python. You can email me at david at davidbpython.com.